almost all cervical cancer is something called human papillomavirus. Uh, and that's something that we can usually detect with something as simple as like a pap smear or something called a pap co-test. I think the biggest risk factor then is poor access. So not seeing your provider, whether that's an OBGYN, family physician, medicine doctor. And then I think the other risk factor is going to be smoking. Pain and bleeding are always going to be the primary concerns. Irregular bleeding or abnormal uterine bleeding where if you're having regular periods and then all of a sudden you notice that you're bleeding in between periods or if you are having what's called postcoital bleeding, even if it's just a little bit of spotting after intercourse, that would be something that you want to bring up with your provider. Here at HMSA, we want to create a healthier Hawaii. So I want to encourage all women over the age of 21 to be sure to get cervical cancer screening. As Dr. Kim mentioned, one of the biggest risk factors for cervical cancer is poor access. So it's really important that you follow up with your provider and get checked out regularly. And also be sure to ask about the HPV vaccine and if it's appropriate for you. 